What's going on guys, Orzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are looking at a new Flashback Player SBC and it is going to be your boy El Sharari to review today. He looks unbelievable. Like seriously, 93 pace, 91 dribbling, 86 shooting, 84 passing with the 65 physicals. If we are comparing this card to his original gold card, we are looking at a plus 7 to pace, a plus 9 to shooting, a plus 13 to dribbling, a plus 4 to defending, a plus 8 to passing and only only a plus one to physicals which is kind of questionable because it's clear of day that that's probably what he needs most but hey we can't complain too much because this card with that five star skill moves and that four star weak foot looks very good medium medium work rate five foot ten as well when it comes down to the chem style marksman chem style i feel like is the way to go because it boosts his ball uh, he's boosts his ball control up by plus 10 giving him 96 ball control so he should not be taking any bad touch at all it's also going to be one of those situations where i feel like his ball control being that high is going to make his skill moves feel a little bit better as well it also does give him the plus 10 strength which he clearly does need the other chem style that you can go for is the dead eye chem style i believe the dead eye chem style is also very very good if you're willing to obviously leave the ball control at 86 go for you know go for the dead eye why not at the end of the day but marksman i feel like he's just the way to go he has got 92 acceleration with a 94 sprint speed so he's insanely fast he's got 92 attacking positioning 96 finishing 88 shot power Power, 98 long shot 93 volleys with the 82 penalties while having the finesse shot trait boys the guy has the most overpowered trait this year for shooting with those shooting stats he should be clinical let's just say that now the passing ability he's got 91 vision 83 crossing 75 free accuracy 85 short passing 73 long passing with the 94 curve that long passing might be a little bit of an issue if you are thinking of playing a sky in like a cam position but when it comes down to his dribbling he's got 99 agility like straight off that is disgustingly good he's got 90 balance also 92 uh, 92 yeah 92 reactions 96 ball control 99 dribbling with the 84 composure and if we are looking at the physical stats he's got 86 stamina which means he should be lasting for the whole 90 minutes in every every single position sorry about that he's also got like a 70 strength 74 jumping with the 50 aggression to his game now when it comes down to links i've got carlos alberto and your boy deco I haven't got a lot of Serie A players, I must admit, but when it comes down to icons, apparently I do have them. Aguero, I bought my boy, uh, my boy, wait, Curtis Jones. Yeah, Curtis Jones. I completely forgot this guy's name. Either way, Curtis Jones and McTominay is also in this team. I will be playing El Sharari in a 4-4-2 in that striker position and that left mid position, but also in a 4-2-3-1 in the camp position. But let's get into the games. Aguero, over to El Sharari. Let's see how he feels on the ball. Little ball roll. Like I had to cancel. Okay, okay. All on dribbling as well. He feels nice. Feels really, really nice, which was expected 100%. You know, him having the 99 agility straight up, he's always going to feel pretty good on the ball. To McTominay, to Jones, over to El Sharari. That's nice. Nice little hill to hill as well. Going to go for that lack of care to cancel. Scoop turn into the inside. I tried to go for the power shot. But this guy right here, the way he's playing right now, he's defending with his midfield. So he's allowing the AI to kind of get these blocks in. But yeah, that was really nice dribbling either way by El Sharari. He just kind of got unlucky not to actually get the goal. Deco into the middle. Morris to El Sharari. Hill to hill up. Well played, referee. There you go. We got the free kick. He's very lucky not to actually give a penalty away. But there's only one person that's going to step up to the plate. With his 75 free key accuracy, he's most likely going to put a play on the line. He is going to put a play on the line. Okay. Should we... Is he? Oh, right. Let's go for the fake shot. Why not, boys? Go for the fake shot. And I'm going to go for that first time shot to see if he hits it across goal. Boys, I'm going to be honest. I clicked B once. And it red-timed it, but it was still a very, very good shot. I should have just hit it towards the near post, though. Let's give it to him right here. He doesn't really make those runs in behind, which is kind of annoying a little bit. Like, look at him. He likes to come short a decent amount in that striker position. He has realized where he needs to run, though. Little ball roll. Trying to try to get around the corner here. Nah, it didn't really work out. But yeah, he doesn't really make those runs, like those aggressive runs. He likes to come short a decent amount. Give it to El Sharari. Go for that little dummy. Gonna go for that real quick. Give it a hill to hill. Lacoqueta towards the inside. That's a really, really nice turn. But the four-star weak foot is going to come into play. And it's just going to miss the target. 
Is he going to make a run in behind? He's contemplating a lot, but he does get a little space there. Can I go for that finish? And we are going to get the first goal with him. But yeah, movement in that striker position is very questionable. I'm not enjoying it too much because he's not too aggressive. He's very, very like passive and he wants it to his feet pretty much every single time. But that was a very good finish. Pass it to him there. Scoop turn. Maybe go for that turn real quick. Go for this real quick. Go for this real quick. I'll oh, stop it. Luck like a Oh, <gasps> no, boys, no, we couldn't get a finish. I tried to do a Lacoqueta cancel and I completely did the wrong skill move and it absolutely destroyed the defender, but we couldn't get the bicycle kick. Give it to him there. I'm going to hit a first time through ball. That's a really, really nice pass, especially on that weaker foot. McTominay, double way over to him. Touch, fake shot, inside, well played. Oh, stop it. Turning players inside out. And we are going to get the four-star weak foot finish beautifully into the corner. But these kind of shots right there, especially at that angle, I'm expecting to go in. Give it to him here. Continue just to run. Just run because I know you got a pace in your locker. Nice. Well played. Power shot. Oh. Ooh, a little quick skill move and this guy's out of there. He's going to rage quit. Let's see it, boys. Let's see if my boy is going to rage quit. 3-0 down and we're going to say bye-bye. McTominay into the middle. Well played. Curtis Jones. Give it to Aguero. R1 dribble. Give it to Sharari. Going to go for that fake shot. Can I get that finish? I can get that finish. So I have moved him into the cam position right now. And he's kind of making runs in behind. Hold up a second. Little ball roll. No, we just couldn't get there. That's his first run in behind at, in the cam position. I'm very, very interested to see if he's like in a very aggressive cam. Because I tell you right now, in that striker position, he was not aggressive at all. Aguero on the ball. Yeah, he's making a run in behind. He's instantly making a run in behind. That is interesting. Okay, little fake shot around the corner. Let's get it going. Like, okay, to cancel just to get the angle. Is that a block? Did... Oh, my God. So is he going to make that run into the middle? He is going to make that run into the middle. But he realizes it's not gone anywhere. So he goes back into his position. And he's going to go out wide. Let's pass it down to McTominay. Give it to Aguero. Does he make that run in there? He does. So his movement, I must admit, in that striker position... Hold up a second. Let me try to score this one. Nah, I screwed it up. I screwed it up. Yeah, the, his movement in the striker position wasn't so great. But in the cam position, boys, I tell you what, he's got some really, really nice moves where he's got that nice balance that he makes runs in behind, but he also does come short time to time. Going to probably get, try to go for a 1-2. Going to go for that scoop turn. Give it to Aguero. Call him short. RB turn. Not really RB turn, but it kind of worked. Let's keep going. Can I get this going? Ref? Oh my god, how is that a penalty? That is not a penalty. No, no way. But every single review, boys, I'm telling you, we get a penalty. Every single review. It's ridiculous, but we take those. Let's give it to him. 82 pens. He's going to try to think it towards the top bins. Hopefully, we can actually end up getting this goal. Let's see, boys. Oh, that's moving a little bit. I didn't time it. It's going to hit. Oh my god, I forgot to time it, and it ends up hitting the post. Shwari. Give it through the gap. Well played. Really nice pass to Aguero. Let's see his movement here. He's going to go for that RB turn. It's not going to be the greatest turn, but he is going to fight for the ball. Get that. Oh, bye-bye. Bye-bye. It's game over. It's game over. As soon as you see that quick ball roll into a scoop turn, it's game over, boys. So I have moved him into the right wing position now. We're going to see how it goes. He's made a little nice run there. Keep going. Keep going. The thing is, right, we all know his pace is going to be enough to get down that line. But what I want to know is, how is he going to deal with, like, the contact to contact situation? That was really good movement, by the way. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's beautiful. That is unbelievable. Really nice dribbling inside the box there. But it was good movement from him. He realized that he didn't need to go back out wide. He realized that he can make that cut and run. Going to cut into the inside because this guy's been reading me down the line the whole time. Beautiful turn. The one thing, by the way, I'm really enjoying about him is the skill moves. The skill moves on this kid feel so, so natural. It is absolutely ridiculous. Like, he keeps the ball so close to his feet after every single skill move he actually does. And it makes him really hard to actually tackle. Nice little interception. Going to go for a rainbow flick. Didn't really work out, but he kind of did, to be fair. Going to go for that. That's beautiful. No, I tried to go for that scoop turn, but oh, oh, oh my god. Really nice use of strength, to be fair to him. He has got 70 strength, so he is going to, you know, put up a decent fight. It's just I didn't feel like he should have came out with that ball. So it is time to review him. Two games played, seven goals scored, the zero assists as well, boys. 
we could have made that eight. Well, I could have made that eight, let's say, because I missed that penalty. I obviously didn't do it on purpose. I just forgot to time it. I don't know what was going through my brain. I was literally just focusing on the keeper, and that's it. I should have timed that penalty. If I did, we would have came out of eight goals, but it is what it is. We still saw some very nice goals. Skill goals, like there was no tomorrow. We saw some fluky goals as well, but a majority of them actually had a bit of skill into, and then we obviously got the finish. Now, when it came down to using both feet, I felt like the four-star weak foot wasn't outrageously good. I felt like in clear-cut opportunities, the ball obviously went in, but there were certain angles that I didn't enjoy it in, which is kind of a bit of a worry in a way, but it's just something you are going to have to deal with if you want to get this card. Now, do I believe this card is worth the 240k he is currently going for? 100%. 100 boy if you got a Serie A team and you don't get this guy right here I don't know what you're doing I really really don't which position do I feel like is perfect for El Sharari I actually think the cam position you know the cam position or the winger position I feel like in a winger position he was also very very good with his dribbling with his pace and even shooting ability down there but in the cam position you can notice him get into the like get involved into the attack way way more than you could in the strike position I didn't like him in a striker position I really didn't it was just like he took too long to kind of make those runs into those gaps and he took too long to make those runs in behind he was always always a player that came short and that's something I don't really like especially for my kind of play style so so yeah, cam position or winger position, I feel like is the way to go. But let's get into the ratings. Pace. For pace, I am going to give him, I'll probably say like a 9.2 out of 10. Not going to over-exaggerate here. I'm just going to keep it very simple because he was a player that is going to get caught up to like the Clibers, you know, the team of the year Trent, the team of the Alfonso Davis. So you can't really sit there and give him like a, I don't know, like a 9.6 or 9.7 because it wouldn't make any sense. But yeah, 9.2, I feel like that is reasonable. Shooting ability, as I said, four star weak foot wasn't outrageously good, but I really was confident when it came down to shooting with his stronger foot. So for shooting, I am going to give him, I'll probably say like a solid 8.7 out of 10. Top tier. Passing ability. This is where you're probably going to be surprised a little bit because you would think to yourself that the long passing was always going to be an issue and i must admit it wasn't i was doing first time through balls over the top through balls with his weaker foot and he was perfectly landing on players and that just shows how much that vision actually comes into play when it comes down to the long passing so for passing i am going to give him i would honestly say i'll probably say like an 8.5 8.4 slash an 8.5 out of 10. Don't want to go too high, but I feel like that is a very, very good rating, especially for El Sharari's passing ability. Dribbling ability. I'm not going to sit here and say he's a player that feels just as good as like a Neymar or just as good as like a Team Lee Mbappe because he doesn't. He's a player that feels very good on the ball, but he's not a player that feels up to the level of like a Neymar or Mbappe kind of player. So for dribbling, I am going to give him, I would say like a solid 9.3 slash a 9.4 out of 10. He's insane. Really, really is. I love how he keeps that ball to his feet. Like, it, the ball literally sticks to his feet after every single skill move you do. Physicals. I was surprised, by the way. Really surprised when it came down to strength. I was expecting a player that was going to get bodied. I really did. I was expecting a player that's going to have no fight to his game. But he was fighting. And he had strength to his game. And he's got the stamina. So, the physicals. I am going to give him. I will say it's like a. I'll probably say like a, a 7.8. Such an 8 out of 10. I don't want to go too high, but it's not as bad as the card actually says it is. But an overall rating out of 10, I am going to give this card... Oh, I'm going to give him... I'll probably say like a, an 8.8 out of 10 an 8.8 .8 seems very very good slash an 8.9 maybe but yeah still very very good card especially for 250k if you got a Serie A team go ahead and get him you will not regret it but i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did make sure to leave a like make sure to leave a comment but for now peace